Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild up here. Hey, you guys, guess which famous rapper's uh, woman is fed up? She put his business out on blast and wait until you hear who it is. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. hot, yeah. hot topic. Powered by 1-800-TRUCK-RAP. First thing we got to talk about a pet kangaroo. Couple says they ran up on a pet kangaroo the other day. What? First of all, that's the problem. <laughs> why, do, why do we have a pet kangaroo? Let's talk about that one, please. <laughs> okay. But kangaroo. they said they let it out so it could use the bathroom and a fence was open so it ended up getting out. A couple's driving down the street and it's like, no, that ain't no kangaroo. They thought it was a dog at first, girl. Well, damn. Damn. And they were like, they ain't that dog got, got uh, hops? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so they discovered it was a kangaroo. It's they a called kangaroo. Animal Services. Animal Services came and got it, and it has been reunited with Hey, you song. know what they did? You know, when you see something you think you ain't supposed to, you squint. Like, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is that a... Yeah. And I you know. turn the radio down. Yeah. You have to hear... Wait, hold on a second. Is that yeah. what I think? What is that? that ain't no zebra. <laughs> A kangaroo. It kind of look like a big old rat, though, because it's not like the like the full growing that's yeah, like the a baby, of a, right? Yeah. It looks it looks kind of. It's small. a little baby kangaroo. I would have been like, "What the hell is that?" You know me. I would have thought it was an alien. <gasps> oh my god! Get We're here. being invaded. I knew it. I knew it. It's an alien. Oh my god! I would be like, "Oh my god!" I would take a picture of it and send it to you guys. Uh -huh. You guys, I think I see an alien at my house. Let me text you back. Ah, uh, it's a kangaroo. It's just a kangaroo, Diddy. What's All up? Right. I was like, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh Diddy god. just wanted to play that music. Yeah, I did. The, the weird oh music. my god, it's a kangaroo. No, it's a Martian. It's a Martian. It's a Martian. It's a Martian. What? <laughs> oh my god. Martians have hair? Yeah, then you never know what kind they are, Jade. Have you ever seen for real a picture of a Martian with hair? Yeah. No, but you never. I've seen these little men that run around. There's a conspiracy about some little um, aliens that have visited the planet. Oh, the and they're gnomes? real tiny. They're no, tiny. No, they're tiny, and they can run up under your couch and stuff. And I, I think they're hairy. I'm not sure. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow. No, I, you, you don't want to know about my conspiracy theories. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get stranger. Like Ladies I told you guys, on Instagram, you better follow Forbidden Knowledge. Oh, boy. <laughs> They give you some stuff. All right, let me move on. Please. Wendy Williams. <laughs> Wendy Williams. Boy, let's talk about this chick. I feel oh, so bad God. for this woman. All right. So, you know, everything that she's come out and said. Remember, she came out. She said, I'm doing a hotline. Remember, to help those that have alcoholic problems or uh -huh. drug problems. Mm -hmm. And she came out and said that she was living in a house, halfway house. She has come out and said everything you can possibly say, right? Mm -hmm. Has she not? She's talked about her son's drug addiction. There you go. She's talking about everything except for her health everybody. issues. She said she had a Graves disease, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. She'll tell you everything about her life, but the one thing she will not tell you about huh. is her marriage. <laughs> New reports are out, everybody. Allegedly, Wendy Williams' husband, um, he is still with his mistress. Mm. They got pictures of them together on vacation. Well, damn. They're now saying that he has given his mistress an apartment, an apartment in Manhattan. He got her a studio for one of her businesses. Oh, snap. Uh, that he supports in the city. He put her through school to be a massage therapist. Oh, wow. <laughs> he opened a kiosk for her back home in South Carolina, I believe they say she's from. Okay. In the mall, a kiosk. Mm -hmm. He helped her set up a jewelry and a clothing line, an online jewelry and clothing line. They said all the things that he set her up with have failed. <laughs> None of them have been successful. But he also told her, they said they've been together 10 years, mm -mm -mm. allegedly, and that he told her, I will never leave my wife because she pays all the bills. Of course, wow. That's your money maker. You that manage your sense. career. So. Uh, but I, I have a feeling he told Wendy that he wasn't going to leave the mistress. And that's what probably drove Wendy crazy because she probably saw more pictures. Because remember, she hired a P.I. Mm -hmm. This yeah. was just last year. She mm -hmm. allegedly hired a P.I. And there were pictures of him and the girl getting out the car and the pictures of his name in the mailbox. Now, back to this kiosk that he bought her in the mall, though. I'm not trying to. Did they say what kind it was? Was it the pecans with the... Y'all are the, ridiculous. The or <laughs> sugar and cinnamon on top? <laughs> or or That's it a good could kiosk. be... What's the nail woman? They'd be standing in the middle. They'd be like, oh, let me see your nails. Let me buff your nails. Let me buff your nails. Yeah. Yes. Probably. Or the flat flat iron. That, flat, that ion yeah. one. Yes. I hate when they try to flat iron. I wonder if it was that one. I, I like. think it was the spool of uh, gold. <laughs> yeah. The that one. spools of gold. Everybody yeah. has bought yeah. a chain from the they, spools They always say, how long you want it? Uh, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. yeah we would get like a 45 <laughs> I mean, for what? For like seven dollars. Like it actually was the two sunglasses for twenty five dollars. Yeah, the sunglasses. Oh, yeah, the sunglass kiosk is a really good one. Yeah, as compared right. to, mm -hmm. yeah. as compared to, she's not a good salesperson though. It yeah. failed. Yes, yeah. it failed. All right. Hey, let me move on. Hey, let's talk about Sway Lee's girlfriend. Oh man. Oh. She put him on blast. Boy. You see, yesterday when she, somebody, what, they were videoing her or something? So and, she's uh -huh. FaceTiming with Sway Lee. He's throwing all these other celebrities under the bus, but. 
somebody was recording their conversation. And, uh, yeah, he put them on blast. I love you, and I'm going to be, you're going to be my wife one day. If you make it through all this dumb shit, bro. Do you know what chance the rapper's wife went through him? Do you know what Gucci and his wife went through with him? They were just down for them. Dude, they came f***ing thin, and that's what I f***ing, I thought that was you. I thought you would just be, like, down. But like, you know how they treated them, though? Yeah, it was a phase where Gucci was f***ing a billion dollars, not even talking to his bitch. And she still pushed through all that shit and came back around for that Chance the rapper broke his Still holding it down for the You don't get it, bro. You want to be on some fucking. Still seem like high school, bro. So wait a minute. Did he just what? say Gucci was messing with a billion girls? Yes. Yeah. That's physically impossible. What if Gucci was having a good day <laughs> and just walked into his house not knowing she was on social media? And she's like, oh, a billion? That's what we do with Gucci? A billion? <laughs> like, why do guys do that? Uh, All guys do that. Come on, Mike. Uh, you know you've been in trouble before and you blame rapper. Gary. Yeah, you got to, but the, you know, you, you don't. You, you don't just hope snitch, nobody's you? videotaping. Sometimes you got to by any means necessary <laughs> oh, okay. to get out of anything. If I got to blame Gary, I got to blame Gary. If it gets me out of this, I blame anybody. See, now I'm not the one, though, because you know what I would do, Jade? I'd be like, oh, really? Let me call Gary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to call him. Come and- on, Gary, we ain't got to do all that. No, I do. I, you, hey. No, I, was, I was role playing. I need backup. <laughs> I need backup. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like, oh, okay, let me call and find out. Or I would call Gary's girl. Hold on, let me talk to you. Do you know? Oh, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> I really do. I have to make sure because I never want to be like played the fool. You, you're not. I don't matter. You're not. Know. Everybody's been played the fool, Dee Dee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. That's why I said in the past. I mean, like, oh. for real, in the past. But now I'm like, oh, no, that's, it's not going down like that. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, by the way, the woman said she's not staying with him, you guys. That's good news. Good. Oh, she left. She has standards. Yep, she uh, said. Let's see how that lasts. Yeah, coming up. Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Dee Dee in the morning. We get wild.